Hello all. Uh, today in this tutorial we'll be seeing how do we create a GDG that is generation data group. So far we have seen uh, different things like how do we create a PS file and how do we create a PDS file. So PS stands for physical sequential and pa PDS stands for partition data sequential and we have also mentioned like PDS is nothing but it's a folder and uh, PS is nothing but it's a file right so this is what we have discussed in our earlier classes so or in our in the earlier tutorial so now we will be seeing a concept called as a GDG that is generation generation data group this is called as a generation data group so the name itself you can see this is a group what group this is a generation data group so when you are creating a PS file it will be creating only one version of the file right if you are creating a PDS it has a folder and you'll be creating a multiple members inside the PDS so we have a situation like we receive a data from client or from other systems right so they are sending a file to input file to one of the PS file that is physical sequential file every day they send the data and initially uh, the data whatever that has been sent that has been stored into the data set that is PS file and when this when this when they send back on the next day the data gets replaced or overridden with the new data the problem is and the client says like uh, please uh, create a backup or a maintain a versions of last seven days they wanted us to keep a uh, seven days data or a five days data that is that entire week's data to on our system so in that case how do you do the option one option one is to create a backup file by copying from one ps file to another ps file like a ps1 to ps1 backup ps1 to backup 2 backup 3 backup 4 packet file so like this you have to create a six different data sets right in order to maintain the backup of five days data five six first will be the original and then the rest of the five will be the backup right so that means we are unnecessarily creating that many physical sequential file so to avoid this so we have one concept called as a GDG that is generation data group so the file name will be same but it will have a different generations like uh, based on that uh, based on the requirement we create or the different generations so if client wants us to maintain five days then we will create a generation with five if you want us to maintain 30 days then we will create a 30 days so now let's go ahead and see how do we create a GDG right so let me create one JCL for that one and then we will execute that data JCL okay so here is the JCL I have so job card will be same and I have mentioned the job name as the programmer name or the description here as a create GDG and these are the comments define GDG base and if you look at here in this line I'm using a program called as a ID camps ID camps is the IBM provided utility that I am using to create this GDG GDG base so in order to create an PS file or a PDS file so what was the utility we have used yes you are right so we have used IEFBR14 as the utility to create a mainframe GDG base or I mean sorry to create a mainframe PS file or a PDS now we are going to use ID camps as an, a program or an utility to create this GDG sysprint sys out sys in these are the standard DD names that we have to use and after this in sys in DD star so I'm mentioning some parameters here so of whatever if you want to place any parameters or if you want to surpass some information then you can use this line sys in DD star so this, uh, it is called as a in stream data okay so here I have to write like define GDG and the name of the GDG is name and what is the GDG name you are giving so I'm giving as test dot GDG and limit 
you can see different options here limit no empty and scratch what is limit limit in nothing but how many generations you want to keep so I will be saying as clients I'd like to have a five days backup right so I'll be creating a five days uh, five generations so I'm giving limit as five no empty scratch so what are these options is no empty means so whenever the generations it reaches the five or like uh, the data sets is becomes five delete the oldest generation and add a new generation right now we'll be seeing what is that so scratch means to uncatalog it from the physical memory okay and we also have another option called as empty and no scratch they are correlated to each other so no empty means it uh, empty means it deletes all the generations when the limit is reached no empty means it will delete only the first generation and it will keep the remaining as it is scratch or no scratch means the same so it on a catalog or it will catalog and the, it, it remains the same okay so this is the basic uh, options that we have to use while creating a GDG define GDG and you are giving the name and you are giving the limit and no empty and scratch okay let me submit this JCL SUB is to submit the JCL and you can see the job has been successfully submitted and it has been ended with maximum condition code as zero that means the GDG base is successfully created so how do I see the data set so just copy this and go to start then 3.4 then paste it here and enter and you can see the GDG is created and it will be how do you identify a PS or PDS file so just click on the size and properties you can see uh, you can identify it's a PS or PDS file like for GDG so you can see the volume as question mark here and in this way you can identify if it is a GDG or a PS file or a PDS file whenever you see these question marks the as the volume so that means it's a GDG so it doesn't have any data things I mean the data sets created for this sets it's a base we have created and from this we have to create a generations of that one so so far you, I, I hope you are clear with this so how do you define the GDG so GDG base so using IDCAMS utility